Hello and welcome to Simvoli. This is Tan with a brand new update with some exciting new things that we've added to the platform. One of which is the most anticipated and the most requested feature, which is the undo and the redo. So inside your page building, you can basically modify and after that, go back to the previous change that you've made. Really simple, I'll show you in a moment. We also introduced two more widgets, the progress and the accordions. Uh, below this video, actually, you'll be able, after this video, you'll be able to see a more detailed video of the accordion and the new changes to the checkouts. So it comes with new designs and new modifications there, as well as the uh, card checkout. So check out those videos. There'll be more detailed about these features. But in this one, I'll show you, you know, just the basics. Now, the endurance job. Of course, when you do any type of a change at the top, you see the discard and save changes as before. But now you have the undo and the redo option. So whatever changes you make on your page, let's say we delete this one, we can change some background, some margins, whatever you wish. And you can now start clicking the undo or use Control and Z. And let's just click and you can see the padding was reduced as it was. The deleted element was, you know, is back. You can change the position back, the padding, the padding and when it is non-clickable, that means there is no more changes to undo, but you can redo some of the changes that has been made. So this is it. This is how the undo and redo works. It's very simple, like I said, but it's very powerful. If you make some mistake and want to go back, basically there is no limit on how many steps you can go back. Uh, but keep in mind, if you discard the changes, that will automatically remove the basically like the history of undo and redo. So just basically a refresh of the page. Uh, when you refresh the page itself also, that will remove the undo and redo. After changes, save changes, you, you will still keep it because that's not a refresh. That's keeping still what kind of changes you've made before. And again, save changes to, uh, you know, save the page and actually see it uh, live. All right, so this is the end of the video. Very simple, but very powerful. Um, now the next thing is the widgets. So the progress bar is a very simple one. So I'll show you in this video. It's basically adding a progress bar on your page. And it is basically to show a specific progress of the user that they're taking. Maybe you have a different, you know, funnel maybe with different steps or just different pages connected together and you want to show the progress. So from the slider, you can determine how much the progress is and uh, there is some stylization such as the colors uh, of the progress um, you can adjust the background side so at the moment it is some kind of a um, you know with opacity but you can make it whatever you wish and uh, you have the height so you can make it more uh, you know prominent bigger if you wish of course and if you want to have animation or not you can just adjust the animation itself now so this is it this is how simple it is to now just it's very simple widget like I said, uh, but there is something cool about the widget itself. So when we save and preview our page, and now we have our page uh, with the progress bar. But if you want to dynamically change how many percentages, you can do it from the URL by adding progress. Um, you can add progress and let's say 20, you see that will be reduced to 20%. So if you do some kind of campaign and you want to basically dynamically adjust the percentage, you can do it from the URL by using progress equals and the percentages that you want uh, for, the, for the progress bar. So that's it. It's very simple and very easy. Uh, so let's just redo. And we have the toggle. We'll talk about it more in the next video. We'll talk about the different settings that we have, but basically it's creating toggles uh, with different designs. So there's a lot of cool things that you can do. And I'll show you in more details in the next video. Uh, also new changes to the checkout with new layouts, kind of, uh, and some, some changes uh, for the layouts for the cart as well. So check out the next two videos that will be for accordion and another one for the store check out and uh, the changes that we've done there. So I hope that you enjoy the new under and the few new widgets that we've introduced and talk to you in the next video.